Welcome to Hemisca CTV. Now guys, I am back with the championship vlogs. Today we are going to Derby vs Leeds at Pride Park in the playoff semi-finals. Now guys, this is a massive game. I am so excited. Um, yeah, I'm going to be taking you guys with me today. Um, I've got two games this weekend in two days. Doesn't get any better than that, does it? Um, Derby vs <coughs> Leeds today. And then... Leicester versus Chelsea tomorrow. So exciting times. I'm going to be taking you guys with me this weekend. I hope you enjoy this match day vlog. Don't forget to hit that big thumbs up if you do enjoy it and subscribe down below if you're new to my channel. Um, yeah, it's currently 12 o'clock. I'm going to head to Derby train station and meet my dad because my dad's come up from home this weekend. He's coming to the games. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and meet dad at the train station. Um, yeah, we're probably going to grab like a drink and food and stuff and then we'll be going to the game. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping for a good match day vlog today. Hopefully Derby get the win. Um, but whatever happens, like obviously this is the second leg at Elam Road anyways next week. So yeah, it's obviously there's two legs. So obviously like whatever happens today, like it's not, it won't be job done, whatever. Because obviously um, we've got next weekend's game, but sorry, next week's game um, at Elam Road. Um, but yeah, so let's go. Enjoy it, guys. Um, and yeah, and good luck to Derby today. I'm hoping for them to get a win, you know. Um, and yeah, exciting times. Let's go. <laughs> It's going to be a tough game. Leeds have beaten us twice this season, so it should be an interesting one. But coming in with better form into the playoffs, I think we can do it today. It'll be a narrow win. 
but I think we'll beat him and it's going to be a great atmosphere today. Do you think you can go all the way to Wembley? I think we can over both legs. We can go to Wembley, but it's whether we can win at Wembley against whoever's there. And it's looking like Villa at the moment, so that should be interesting. Have you got a score prediction for today, or do you not do a score prediction? I usually do, but because it's the playoffs and against Leeds, I don't trust myself. So I'll say a narrow win towards maybe a 2-1. And if, you, and if you do get to the final at Wembley, obviously um, with the West Brom and Aston Villa game today, who would you like, Villa or West Brom? West Brom, because I think they're an easier side than Villa. Yeah, at the definitely. All right, thank you so much for coming on. Okay, guys, I'm with All Leeds TV outside Pride Park. Make sure to subscribe to them. I'll leave a link in the description below. And um, so yeah, what's your pretty much for us and score prediction? Um, I'm thinking about a draw today. Take a draw all day long here. Tough, tough place to come to. Good team playing today. Good team in form. It's going to be a really tough game. We've got some individuals who can change the game in minutes, uh, seconds even. Harry Wilson, Mason Mount, you know, top, top players. We've got threats ourselves, but we've got to respect the. You know, you know, who we're playing today, you know, we've won the games easily in the league, but today it's not going to be anywhere near as easy today for me. Uh, it's going to be a tight game, I take a point all day long, sort of bottom point, sorry, a draw all day long, just to come back to Welland Road, and hopefully we'll have the home advantage and steal the tie, but it's going to be a really tough game today. As long as we keep ourselves in it, I'm not going to be too fussed. So obviously I'm a Chelsea fan, but I've heard there's a little bit of a grudge between Derby and Leeds fans. Do you hate it's, Derby? No, no. It's, it's a bit of a, it's one of those from like um, the 70s, 80s, you know, Brian Clough, Don Revy, more 70s really. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a short term kind of Derby and that lot. But in, this year it's been, it's got, it's got a bit heated with Spygate and that lot. I don't know if you guys know about that. Um, <laughs> but Spygate, yeah, it's got a bit heated, you know, between Lampard and Bielsa. So there's going to be a, you know, no matter what sort of Lampard, to be fair to him, has sort of brushed it off and not sort of alluded to it in his pre-match uh, press conferences and that lot but there is a, there is a massive rivalry um, between those two I think you know we can't really deny it I think Jody Morris is another one the uh, Derby assistant manager to say he's disliked by Leeds fans would be an absolute understatement probably probably the worst sign I think we've ever made <laughs> tonight in terms, not just because of ability just in terms of the whole what came with it the package yeah. that came with it was just horrendous for us but to be fair I think Derby fans love him to be fair but it's going to be a big rivalry, I think, but it's going to be a bit of a grudge match a little bit too, because of Spygate and that lot. Do you think you can get all the way to Wembley? Uh, it's going to be really close. I think it's going to be yeah. a goal in it either side. It probably depends a lot on today, really. I think if Derby go in with a lead, they're going to be really fancy it, you know, trying to uh, catch us on the counter at Ellen Road, because we're going to have to push forward. If we go in there with a draw or even win today, I think it's an advantage of us, but it's a tough, tough call, but I think we've got the ability to get to Wembley. We've just got to show it now. You know, last four or five games have not been good enough, anywhere near good enough to be honest. Um, we've just got to, and I don't think form's a massive thing in the playoffs. No, but no. We've really got to show um, what we're about. You know, and if we do that, I feel we can win this game. And maybe not today, but over the two legs, over 180 minutes, I feel we can come out on top. But it's going to be really, really tight. You know. So obviously, the Villa and West Brom game has gone on today. If you were to beat Derby and go through to the final at Wembley, would you like West Brom or Aston Villa? Um, well, West Brom had Dwight Gale sent off in the last minute. I think for that reason, if Dwight Gale's out for three games or so and so on, I'd rather play West Brom without Dwight Gale. You know, it yeah. gives them a, bit, a little bit less of a threat. But now it seems ideal. Now it seems ideal. You know, we struggle against both. I think um, we're not struggle, but I think both teams would be a really tough game. Um, I think. In terms of pure balance, I think I'd probably rather we'll play West Brom. You know, I think Villa have got a little bit more balance now. You know, Tyron Mings have signed in January, massive signing for them. Uh, obviously, Jack Grealish fully fit. Tammy Abraham, probably the best striker in the league. It'd be a really tough game that against Villa, but um, you know, I'd, I'd probably take Villa, but it's not. It's not an easy. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, no. Both would be really tough games. Have you got a final score prediction for today's game? I'm going to go one-one. Um, oh, yeah. I think. I actually, yeah. I'm going to be honest. I went two-one Derby. And I, I'm just saying that because we've got the home advantage. And no, I'm no, not, no, not yeah, like digging no, no, leads, but you've had a bit of an up and down thing. Yeah, no, of course. Like, you've have. bottled it a few times, haven't you? Oh, that many sounds times. so nasty, I'm we've sorry. It <laughs> Honestly, we've bottled it pretty much every away games we tend to bottle, but yeah. this one I think suits a little bit more. It's going to be a nice and open game. Um, Derby are going, to, they're going to come at us, we're going to come at Derby. Both teams are going to play high lines. I think you're looking at probably Kemal Roof against Richard Keogh as a potential battle we could win. But look, Derby have improved a lot since we played them. If I was being honest, I can't see us winning 2-1. If it is going to go either way, Derby are probably going to come out on top. But 
I feel it's going to be really tight. This, yeah, I feel anything be, can happen in the playoffs. It is can't one it? moment of madness, one moment of magic, and it yeah. can change the game. We, we've learned that to our cost um, in recent playoff attempts. All right, thank you so much for coming on and no subscribe down below, guys. Bye. Cheers. So guys, I'm with Alex Allen. I'll leave a link in the description below to his YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe. Um, so what's your pre-match thoughts and score predictions for today's game? I think we do need a two-goal lead going into this game. Because obviously when we go to Ellen Road in the second leg, it'll be a hostile atmosphere. We'll struggle to play our football. But I am going to say 2-0 Derby, Tamori and Marriott scoring. Do you think that you're going to get to Wembley? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Obviously, the West Brom and Aston Villa game happened today. Yeah. Anything could happen in that in the second leg. If you were to win today, would you like Aston Villa or West Brom in the final at Wembley? I wouldn't really be bothered, to be honest, because like, we're the underdogs game today, so it doesn't matter who we play. Do you think you're going to get into the Premier League? Big question, but... Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Come on, Derby. All right, thank you. So, guys, I'm with Tyler Toft outside Pride Park. I'll leave a link in the description below to his channel. I'm getting on all the Derby vloggers today, it's great. Um, so what's your pre-match thoughts and score predictions for today's game? Listen, what happens, whatever happens today, we are proud of the team. You know, Lampard's first year in management and we are proud of whatever happens. Um, but today I'm gonna say a one-all draw, maybe a two-one win, you know. We've got a few players out, they've got a few players out, but whatever happens, happens, done it. You know what I mean? We're proud of the team, um, but I do think we can win today. And let's just go for it, you know, we can do it. And yeah, 2 1 Derby, I'll go in my final result. Come do on, the Rams. Do you think you're going to get to Wembley? Um, I'd like to think so, you know, if we win today, um, I'd like to think that West Brom can do it at Villa. And yeah, if we get Villa, it might be a bit difficult. Get West Brom, then yeah, every chance of it. If you were to win and obviously win the second leg and get through to the final, would you like West Brom or Villa at Wembley? West Brom? Definitely West Brom. You yeah, know, I thought so. Villa have beat us twice this season, um, so definitely West Brom. You know, we've beat them twice this season. Villa's beat us twice this season, so let's go for West Brom. All right, thank you so much for coming on and subscribe, guys. Come on, the Rams. So guys, I'm with another Derby vlogger. I'm getting them all on today, it's great. I'm with Lord Metalizer. Make sure to subscribe to him. I'll leave a link in the description below. So what's all your pre-match thoughts and score predictions for today's game? Well, I'm pretty sure every Derby fan is nervous going into this game, but I'm not going in optimistic. I'm going to be quite neutral. I've heard the injury news from Leeds, but I feel like it's going to end 1-1 in the first leg, and it just matters who comes out on top in the second leg. So yeah, come on Derby. Do you think you can get to Wembley? I would Big like question. to hope so. I would like to hope so. But uh, it's going to take a lot of luck and passion to get through this. So hopefully the boys put on a good show. So. Obviously, like the uh, um, West Brom and Aston Villa games took place today. Um, anything can happen in the second leg of that game, as we all know. If you were to win Leeds across both legs, obviously, and get to the final, would you like West Brom or Aston Villa in the final? <laughs> Well, given that we beat West Brom 4-1 yeah. and 3-1, I'd like to go with West Brom. Because Everyone's I feel, saying West Brom. Yeah, I thought that was going to be I feel answer. like we've kind of figured out their playing style and we're just comfortable when we play them. But, uh, but yeah, they lost to White Gale, so I don't know how many games he's going to be out for. Yeah. If, they, if West Brom managed to pull it out uh, in the second leg and go to Wembley and we managed to go to Wembley, again, they lost to White Gale, so that could play in our favour. Yeah. But, as a Chelsea fan though, I'd find it really interesting if it was an Aston Villa and Derby final because of the Frank Lampard and John Terry link. True, but I feel like it's going to be a harder game for yeah. us because I feel Derby are a bogey side to Aston Villa. So, yeah. Okay. I really want West Brom, but it's going to end up being Aston Villa if we get to the final. Yeah, and final score predictions for today's game? If, it's going to be two different ones. If it's not optimistic, it's 1-1. One, one. If it's yeah. optimistic, I'm going with a 2-1 scrape. So. I went 2-1 scrape as well. All right, thank you so much for coming on and make sure to subscribe below, guys. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, guys, so I'm outside Pride Park with Derby County, Fan TV, um, with Ben and Pete. Make sure to subscribe to them. I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, I was on their channel last night. Thank you so much for both having me. You're welcome. Um, I was on the live stream, so make sure to check out that as well. I'll leave it in the link description below. And um, so, <laughs> for 
three match fours and score predictions for today, lads. Obviously, a massive, massive game for Derby County today. Uh, we'd like to think that considering current form and everything else, Leeds are on a bit of a downward spiral at the moment, that we can get a 2-0 win here today, possibly 2-1. Um, we need to take a decent result to Ellen Road. We do. We need two goals to go up there with, I think. But I'm feeling confident. I'm going to go for 3-0 to Derby. Why not just play our own game and go for it? Mm. Do you think you can get a Wembley, guys? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a lottery as the playoffs. It's, it's spoke about quite commonly as a uh, lottery. So we've got every chance in the world. I think it's all falling into place. I really it do. Is. Yeah. All right. as, uh, it's all into place. as Rami just said, all along, something special is happening here this season. <laughs> And who would you like in the finals? Team you would West Brom for me, West Brom. West uh, Brom. Villa obviously unbeaten in 13. <laughs> unbeaten in 13, Villa are uh, 14 now I think with the win today. So they're looking favourite for it, but I would prefer it if West Brom... Yeah, yeah, I prefer West Brom. Um, I've, I've always said that West Brom are going to get through Villa. Villa did lose one game, but they did have a day off. Yeah, that's right, right that's but, right, uh, yes. Yeah, I think West Brom are going to do it. And I think we'll uh, get in the final and get into the Premier League. All right, good luck, boys. Thanks for having Bye. us. Awesome. Come on, you Rams. Come on. Okay, guys, I'm with Anna. So what's your pre-match thoughts and score predictions for today's game? I don't want to get my hopes up too much, but I am thinking 2-1. We're definitely going to concede. Um, but yeah, I'm going for 2-1. I would have said back on to score, but he's uh, not playing. I've seen the, the team sheet. Um, Nugent starting. I have a soft spot for Nugent. He's an absolute legend. So yeah. let's go for Nugent scoring and Wilson. Yeah. Do you think you can get to Wembley? I'd like to think so. I mean, we've surpassed everyone's expectations so far. So I think no matter what happens now, I think, you know, we're going to be absolutely fine. Let's just yeah. enjoy the day and see what happens. And I'll let you know after the game. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, so if you were to go through to the final, depending on who wins between West Brom and Aston Villa, would you like Villa or West Brom in the final at Wembley if you were to get through? I'd like West Brom. I fancy our chances more against West Brom, but it is looking like it's going to be the Villa who's going to get there. All right, thank you so much for coming on. So guys, I have finished all the pre-match interviews. I'm now going to head into the ground. Dad's already gone in. He's left me. How rude. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. And I'm going to go meet Dad now. We're going to go into the ground. And yeah, it's going to be an interesting game. I'm really excited. There's a great atmosphere out here. Yeah. Good luck to Derby. Let's go. <laughs> Right guys, so I'm with my dad and we are now in Pride Park. Score predictions and pre-match thoughts for today's game. Pre-match thoughts, well I think it's going to be really close. There isn't anything in between it. I think it's going to go down probably one goal in the end. Today my score prediction is 1-1. Um, do you think, obviously we don't know what's going to happen in the West Brom and Aston Villa game. Obviously that was a very tight game as we saw earlier. Yeah, yeah. Um, Anyone could get through, obviously, there's a second leg to play in that game. Do you think if Derby win, they'll get Aston Villa or well, West Brom? I hope Ollie, that, you're well, I, well, I hope they get Aston Villa. I hope it's Aston Villa uh, be in the final. Yeah, but they have, Derby have a bad record against Villa, though. Yeah, special. but let's just go for certain sake. Let's get Frank Lampard against John Don't Teddy take, yeah, at Wembley. Chelsea, Come Chelsea on, guy. bring it on. Who cares? Come yeah. on. Well, you know, so like for Derby's sake, I want them to get West Brom. But for the Chelsea connection, we want Lamps up against John Terry. That would be really interesting, uh, wouldn't and it? And wouldn't it be brilliant if one of those two got into the Premier League next season? Oh, no, that would you know, be really that, emotional. That's just it's a whole other story. Yeah. Let's hope so, but yeah. who knows? It might not happen, but let's hope so. So me and Dad are ready for the game. Um, I'm sat where I was sat last time. Dad's joining me today. Good luck to Derby. Good luck to Lee. Good yeah, luck yeah, but... Good luck, on, yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
number two, Jack Harrison. 23, Calvin Phillips. 28, Katana Moroni. Skybet, that's a bit of business. Okay, everybody. now just walking away from Pride Park. Um, it's going to be really tough for Derby when they play Leeds again, very difficult but I can, can I just say thank you all so much for the support tonight. I've had fans coming up to me saying um, oh I watch your YouTube, you're that vlogger and um, when I was walking down at half time to the stand I heard someone say oh there's that um, YouTube vlogger I miss you seeing and it's just crazy like I can't thank you all enough, it means the world, honestly. I've been blown away by the support tonight, it's incredible. To get my name out there in the Derby fan base as well is just amazing. Thank you all so much for that. A bit speechless now because me and Dad have just got... Dad coming! Dad! Me and Dad have just got a photo <laughs> yeah. with Frank Lampard and Mason Mount. Obviously it's a dream for us to meet Frank Lampard, we've waited all these years. I did meet him after Sheffield Wednesday. But it wasn't a very good photo that I got, but both me and Dad have met our team. Chelsea had a legend. A bit, a bit overwhelming. You can tell we're a bit speechless, because like that doesn't... Yeah, <laughs> things like that don't happen every day, does a dream come true. Um, but yeah, but anyways, it's also been so great to get all, loads of Derby vloggers on today. Thank you all so much, guys, for coming on as well. And it's been great. Um, Seattle and Smash Day vlog here. Next stop, Leicester tomorrow for Leicester vs Chelsea. So I'll see everyone in Leicester. Also, good luck to Derby next week against Leeds in the second leg. And also, I want to say before I finish this vlog, um, yeah, thank you all so much for the support. And also, it's been great to come to Derby games this season. Like, it's been sensational. And um, so, yeah, so it's been great, great experience. Um, but yes, thank you so much for tuning in guys um, and I'll see everyone in Leicester tomorrow. Thanks.